Hey there, gang. So today, Gary and I decided to test out his brand new J Rocket HRM, which, as some of you may know, is the newest dumbbell pedal that's out on the market. And one of the things about dumbbell pedals, and I know if you've seen some of my other videos, I have a lot of experience with this, and my good friend Henry has owned many dumbbells, still has a couple. And one of the things that's very difficult to get right, and there's only been a few devices that I've tried out of the hundreds that have kind of gotten close, is the top end. And a lot of times when you add top end to pedals, for instance, they get a little sizzly, right? I mean, come on, you know, it just happens. And depending on what type of EQ and the curve and the cue that you're using, but, but in general, many, if not most of the ones we've tried, when you try to add a little top to it, it gets a little sizzly. And that's not really how a dumbbell responds. The thing about a dumbbell is the responsiveness. It's such a touch sensitive, responsive. It's so immediate yet organic, it's hard to describe. But the top end is what really makes it. And that separates the boys from the men. And this pedal has the best, this J Rocket HRM has the best top end I've ever heard in a dumbbell pedal. Yep, I know that's saying a lot. And I'm not a J Rocket fanboy by any means, but this pedal has it. I don't know if you'll be able to tell by the video that you're about to see, but when you open up the top end control of this, it really blooms. And it doesn't get sizzly, it doesn't get fizzy, it just opens up beautifully. And it does it in a very, creative and organic and sort of magical way. I mean, I, I, I'm, I have an idea of how they do it. Certainly it has a lot to do with the cue involved and the type of EQ, but this top end is just beautiful. And what's interesting is it has a mid-range control, but I found, and tell me what you see in here, the mid-range control doesn't really get out of hand. It does it, sure it adds some, but in conjunction with the top, I found to me, that's where it really worked the best. And in fact, in most cases, depending on the settings, I could see turning it down a hair below noon or turning it just a hair above noon for the mid range and then working the high control to taste. But anyway, enough of the jibba jabba. Take a listen, tell me what you think. I was very, very, very impressed, especially for a $200 single footprint pedal. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, let me know. 